the world has its own time. The time of the world is the time that we know. The day has 24 hours, the week has 7 days, the month has 12 months, uh, the year has 12 months, and there is six, 365 days a year, and so on. This time is for the world. Time of grace is outside the time of the world. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm confusing you. Time of grace is outside the time of this world, the time that we know. So when it is outside the time of the world, then what is the time of grace? Eternal life, eternity. Eternity. Now, when from the time Daniel prophesied till the time Jesus was crucified, 483 years went by. 483 years is the seven weeks and the 62 weeks put together. Seven weeks, we said the week is seven years. So seven times seven, 49 years. 62 times seven is 434 years. 49 and 434, 483 years. Daniel said, from the moment I prophesied, after 483 years, exactly, precisely to the dot, the Messiah will come and he will be cut off, meaning he'll be crucified. 483 years from the time of Daniel to Jesus being crucified went by. Exactly. 483 years. Now, that is 69 weeks. But Daniel says they have to be 70 weeks. The last week hasn't come yet. Now, why? Normally, they all should follow through one after the other. Because time you cannot stop, do, can you? You know, when, when today goes by, the next day comes. Can you stop the next day and say, next day, can you stop uh, for another month till you come again? You can't. Time just follows in sequence and nobody stops. But the last week stopped. The last week hasn't come yet. Why? Because at the end of the 62 weeks and the four weeks and the seven weeks prior to that, at the end of 483 years, Jesus was crucified. When Jesus was crucified, the church of the New Testament was born. When the church of the New Testament was born, the time of grace kicked in. When the time of grace came in, the time of the world stopped, pushed the last week till the end of times. I don't know, are you with me? No? <laughs> Daniel chapter 9 verse 24. He says there is 70 weeks. Now we determine the week is 7 years because of the 42 months, the 1260 days, and the time, times, and half a time. Three and a half years. Three and a half years is half of 7 years. So the week is 7 years. 7 times 70, how many? 490 years. So 490 years. Daniel is saying, from the time I prophesy till the time Jesus is crucified will be 483 years. Now, 483 years, taken away from 490 years, what are you left with? Seven years. Seven years is the last week. The seven years should have happened a long time ago, should have gone, because the seven years should have come after the 483 years. Are, I don't know, are you with me or not? After 483 years, should have been 484, 485, until 490. So, Daniel, when the time he uh, uh, prophesied, till the time of the Lord Jesus, 483 years went by. From the time of Jesus till now, how many years have gone by? 2,022 years. That seven years, the last week, is not, hasn't been fulfilled yet. So those seven years should have finished over 2,000 years ago. Are you with me? But why the two intervals are done, but the last week is not yet lived? Because at the end of the 62 weeks, which is also the seven weeks, 483 years, Jesus died. 
when Jesus died, the church was born in the New Testament. The time of grace kicked in. When the time of grace kicked in, that last week, which is the seven years, got pushed. Because the last week is the time of the world. But the time of grace is above the time of the world. So now the church is living in the time of grace. So the church of the Old Testament is living in the time of the world. Because the prophecy of Daniel is about the time of the world. Jesus will come after 483 years. World time, not eternal time. World time. So Jesus did come after 483 years, world time. But what about that seven years? That should have continued straight after the crucifixion. No, the time of grace came because the church of the New Testament was born. When it was born, it was born from Jesus Christ. Who is Jesus Christ? Life, eternal life. In John 17, 3, the Lord Jesus is saying, and this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So when Jesus Christ came, eternal life came. Eternal life is the time of grace. When Jesus was crucified, the church was born of his side. The church was born in his time. What is the time of Christ? Eternal life. The eternal life has no time. So when eternal life came in, the time of the world got pushed out. The last week is still not lived by the Israelite people. Because the 70 weeks are directed to the Jewish people, Israelite. The church has been living in the time of grace. We are not living in the time of the world. The church is living in eternity on earth. Why? What did the Lord Jesus bring here to earth? The kingdom of heaven. Yes? The kingdom of heaven. So what is the kingdom of heaven? Where it is an eternal life. Heaven has no time. A place that has no time. A place that has no time, there is eternity. So when Jesus Christ came, he brought the kingdom of heaven with him and established it on earth. So when he established the kingdom of heaven on earth, on Calvary, on the cross, the church, his beloved bride, placed her in the kingdom of heaven on earth. She is living the time of grace, eternal life. The church time got nothing to do with the time of the world. That's why last, the last week, of, the, of Daniel's got pushed because at the end of 69 weeks Jesus was crucified 483 years from the time Daniel prophesied about the crucifixion of the Lord 483 years went by Jesus was crucified now that's why Daniel is so accurate if Jesus hasn't come yet then what am I gonna do with Daniel's prophecy 483 years after Daniel Jesus was crucified from the time of Jesus till now, already 2,022 years have gone by. So if Jesus hasn't come, then where is this prophecy gone? The prophecy had to be fulfilled after 483 years of, his, of Daniel's time. 483 years went by, Daniel died a long time ago, Jesus came, and 2,000 years and more came after Jesus now. So that's why this prophecy is absolutely accurate and with if you don't believe in this then you're not going to believe the Messiah has come but the 70 weeks are 490 years 483 Jesus died the last seven years stopped didn't move because time of grace kicked in Jesus church was born in the New Testament when Jesus Christ you sent to this world he brought the kingdom of heaven with him the kingdom of heaven has no world's time has eternal time eternal life so the eternal life is what we call the time of grace the time of grace when it started when the church was born until Jesus comes and takes his bride this time frame is all called the time of grace it's been now 2022 years that last week can't restart until the time of grace is ended